Now, welcome back. Now, we will do a problem on man and Morrison method. So, the voltage and current signal having 50 hertz one metal frequency, a sample at 800 hertz sampling frequency, and they have been given the level and determine the impedance recorded. Now, these are the samples which have been given for us. You need to determine this is the current samples and these are the voltage samples, and you need to determine the impedance value. Right. So, how to solve this one? See, these are the data. So, they have already mentioned that it is 50 hertz. This is the signal frequency and uh, sampling frequency is 800 hertz. This is the signal frequency omega is equal to 2 pi f. It is equal to 2 pi into 50. It is equal to 340. And if sampling frequency is given for us, we can determine delta T, which is equal to 1 by Fs, 1 by 800. You will get somewhere around uh, 0 0.00125. Pi okay. This is delta T. Now, for determining the impedance, magnitude and angle, you do require three samples, right? As I have already mentioned, three samples are required. Right. Apart from this, omega and delta t. Omega I do have, delta t I do have. Now, you choose any of the three values which you want to have. So, I am choosing these three values. The choice is always yes. So, but here I am taking these values. So, if I want magnitude of impedance, square root of, this is, this is Vn, this is Vn minus 1, this is Vn plus 1, this is I n, this is I n minus 1 and this is I n plus 1. Right. So, in this case, what is V n? It is 115.53 square plus here I will write it as 88.49 minus 125.00 by 2 into 0 0.00125 into omega value is 314 whole square by this is 4.96 square plus 4.33 minus 4.83 by 2 into 0 0.00125 into 314 whole square. Now, let us see how well what is the value which I will be getting now. Let me do the calculations for you. Calculations. So, I hope that now you are able to draw. Sorry, I hope that now you are able to determine the impedance, right? Similarly, if I want to calculate the angle of Z, see how I am supposed to take tan inverse of 2 into 0 0.00125 into 314 into the Vn value, it is 115.53 by Vn plus 1 minus Vn minus 1. So, what I will get 88.49 minus 125 minus tan inverse of 2 into 0 0.00125 into 314 into In is 4.96 by 4.33 minus 4.83. This is the angle Z and this is mod Z. So, once you do have, then you can calculate the Z value and you can compare it with setting value. If it is okay, then it is okay. If it is not, then you will give the trip signal. Okay. So, I will be asking problems on determining the impedance using Man and Morrison method and compare it with the set value so that whether a relay is, whether the relay is giving a tripping signal or not. Okay. With this, I am closing this session. 
we'll meet again in the next class to discuss about one more method of determining the impedance we call it as differential equation method that we will see in the next class okay.